What's up everyone? In this video, we're talking all about Q4 and how to prepare your Merch by Amazon business or your e-commerce business for fourth quarter. Now, I should have done this video a few weeks back, but better late than never, right? So uh, today's October 2nd and actually it's October 3rd now and um, fourth quarter is officially started. Now, what this video is going to go over is just what strategies I'm implementing right now or have been implementing for the last month to get ready for uh, the remainder of this period. Now, if you guys haven't started doing anything to prepare, first, just be aware that you do still have time. But second of all, just know that you should get after it. So make sure you guys watch this video to the end and make sure you actually implement these tactics. Now, let's dive right in. So fourth quarter, as you guys know, is the time where at least in America, most people are uh, buying gifts for each other and we have all these holidays slammed into a short period of time. Now, I just started merch last year in September and put up about 10 designs. And you can see just from my numbers, uh, starting in October, I had uh, six times more sales. And then in December, I had four times more than October. So the numbers definitely uh, swing up quite a bit. Uh, and this year, I expect it's going to be a really good picture for 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 not just me but all the people that are on Amazon in this platform. So not only do we get to take advantage of all these other people that are already shopping on the internet, but remember that Amazon is the number one place for people to actually shop and their credit cards are already ready to go on file, so they're ready to buy a t-shirt. So what this means for you guys is that you can expect massive upswings in your sales volume. Um, and obviously we want to prepare as best as possible. So I made a few notes and I want to share those with you guys today on what I'm doing to get ready for this season. Now, if you guys already, uh, are in kind of the lower tiers right now, then you want to make sure, and this really goes for anyone, but the number one biggest recommendation is you need to get tiered up if at all possible. So if you're under tier 500, the one absolute goal should be maxing out all of your t-shirt design slots on merch making sure they're all optimized and trying to get as many sales pumped in there as possible to tear up um, before we get too far into October. Now, I really look at it as you should should start preparing for fourth quarter in uh, August, but if you, really October, you still have a little bit of leeway because the real sales pick up uh, towards the end of October, throughout November, and then obviously they're peaking in December as we get closer to Christmas. But don't worry if you guys haven't started doing stuff, make sure you just start implementing as much of this as possible. So the number one most important tip is to max out your tiers, your slots, and try to get tiered up. Uh, if you're at tier 10 or tier 25, I would highly recommend probably just buying yourself out of those tiers so that you have more room to actually upload. And now it's a lot easier than ever before to get tiered up. So when I first started, it took me, um, I think, a couple months really to get tiered up out of the uh, tier 10 and 25. And when I finally got 100, it took me almost six months to actually get tiered up to tier 500. Now you can get tiered up to tier 100 with just a few sales and tier 500, um, you know, with maybe 20, 25 sales. So that is number one. Make sure your slots are filled and you're doing everything you possibly can to get tiered up. And there's plenty of other video content out there. So I'll let you guys go ahead and find that. Number two is to price your products low. Now the low price strategy guys does not always work, but in this case, right now we wanna get as much sales volume on our t-shirts as possible. And the reason we wanna do that, let's actually go over to Amazon, is because we wanna get as much BSR for, or the lowest possible BSR and rank our t-shirts so they're ready to be picked up by the organic search volume that comes in uh, from all of the online shoppers that are swelling onto Amazon. So my recommendation to you guys is to price low in October until maybe October 20th or towards the end of October. And then as we get into November, start to move your prices up because more and more people are going to be online and you want to capitalize on bringing in and earning some of that uh, royalty money to actually help you grow your business. So just an example, let's go into this. Um, I pulled a search result for just Christmas and we can see, first of all, guys, there's over 50,000 Christmas t-shirts. So um, you're going to want to definitely take dive into multiple, multiple sub niches here. Uh, Christmas is not a keyword that you're going to have a good chance of ranking for because there's so many uh, items in this search result. But you guys can see here, we have a lot of people that are pricing at $19 already. Uh, so if we can beat those out in price, maybe let's say at like $14.95, $13.95, $15.95, $16.95, $17.95, $18.95, $19.95, $20.95, $25.95, $25.95, $25.95, $25.95, $25.95, $25.95, $25.95, $25.95, $25
um, maybe even $15.95, we're going to have a good chance to at least get shirts ranked. Now, I'm not saying that for the Christmas keyword, again, because this is so saturated, but even in your subcategories that you guys are in, whatever niches they are, go look at the marketplace, see what the marketplace price is on the first and second page, and price competitively lower than that so that you have that extra boost and an extra reason for someone to come in and actually purchase your t-shirt. Now, one other thing I wanna mention is a lot of people forget that there are different holidays going on. So don't focus all of your design effort just on Christmas because we also have Thanksgiving, New Year, Halloween. You guys should already have all your Halloween designs up or just finishing those, getting up. But um, remember that there are other holidays packed in here. So capitalize if you really got, if you guys really want to capitalize on the uh, fourth quarter here make sure that you're also looking at the other holidays maybe even some of the other weird random things on the calendar that are um, in between kind of these other holidays here so that's another little uh, tip for you guys now the uh, as far as design so if you guys have top selling designs for example like I know I have a few products that always are selling well now those products and those niches that I'm in um, what I'm actually doing and I've done over the last few weeks is taking those designs and so like here, let me go find some that I can give you guys an example of. So let's just find like a bear t-shirt. So let's say we have a top selling bear t-shirt. Now what I want to do is um, this one looks like it's actually probably a merch listing. What I'm actually going to do is if I have a top selling t-shirt design is I want to get that design and have my designer or if I'm going to do it myself, but turn it into a holiday design as well. Because we already have the design. We know it sells well. People vibe with something about that design. And in most cases, we can take that and actually, it's essentially free money. If we can take that and also just throw a little Christmas um, you know, cheer or Thanksgiving or one of these other holidays on it, it's super easy to do. So for example, we have this bear shirt. And this is on the first page of results for bear t-shirt, okay? So it's selling incredibly well. I'm trying to find the BSR here. 143,000, so we know this shirt's selling well, or at least it has been the past few days. An easy thing we could do here is go throw like a Santa hat on top of the bear. So even though this is kind of a violent bear, this might not be the best example, but the idea, guys, is to go back, look at your designs, find the top selling designs that you already have, and then say, Okay, what can I do to actually turn this into a holiday theme design? Can I add Christmas trees in the background? Can I add, uh, you know, Christmas lights? Just what are the other things? And then how can I optimize the listing to add in those other keywords um, to actually get these added sales? Because if you guys get those up, people already are buying the normal shirt. There's a really high chance that they're going to buy your Christmas or holiday themed version. So that's another tip and something that I'm starting to do with all of uh, my shirts as well. And then the final one, guys, is if you already have all of your slots maxed out, let's say you're you know, at tier 500 and you're waiting to get tiered up um, and you already have your designer working on other designs, then the next thing to do is to go ahead and start cross-listing to other platforms um, whether that's you know Etsy, Redbubble, Teespring, and I haven't even done this myself on some of these platforms, but I'm starting to really push all of my products onto um, Etsy and eBay right now, and eventually Redbubble, hopefully later this month. And the reason, again, guys, that you wanna do this is once you have your design made, remember that that is actually a digital asset. So if you guys are not putting that on all the available platforms, you're literally missing out on free money. now. Yes, I'm making that sound super easy. I know it's time consuming, but if you have one design and you only have it on Amazon, look, you're probably gonna get most of your sales on Amazon, we know this. But if you can take that same design and easily push it live to Etsy, Redbubble, Teespring, eBay, maybe Seller Central, and maybe you have a Shopify store, well, now you just went from having it on one platform to five, six, seven platforms. And if there's shoppers on all those different platforms, your likelihood to get sales for that design have just drastically shot up. Uh, I don't want to say by seven times, but um, you're going to get a lot more eyeballs on that design and it's going to be a lot more likely to sell. And I'm dead serious, guys. Like if you have, let's say, 500 designs, it, it's pretty easy to, you know, it's going to take some time, but it, it's early October right now. So start working on it. Take those designs, put them and do one platform at a time. Put them all on Etsy, then go put them all on, you know, Teespring, then put them all on Redbubble. Um, and again, that's if you've already maxed out everything you can on merch. 
Make sure you're using your time wisely. There's so many other platforms and ways to capitalize on this, but with those guys, that's going to get you ready for Q4 and to have just a massive, super successful time this year and this holiday season with your print on demand business. So just to recap, um, number one is to upload as much as possible to Merch by Amazon and to max out your available slots and tear up as quickly as possible. Um, if you're right at that threshold where you're waiting to get teared up, have your designer continue working on designs so that you can uh, easily just go ahead and upload those and push them live as soon as you do get teared up, which hopefully will happen in you know the next one, two, three weeks. Number two is to price your designs low. Now remember this is uh, not, not always the right strategy, but right now I think it's a good strategy in October to price slightly lower than the market. Go look at your market, find out what it's selling at, and then price maybe a dollar lower, maybe even five cents lower, but to help capture some of those added sales this month in October. And then as we get to the end of October, uh, increase your price and try to start capitalizing on getting those royalties in for November and December so that you have more money to do whatever you want with, but ideally to reinvest in your business um, going into the new year. And um, number three is to turn all of your existing designs, your top sellers into holiday designs, and uh, do not forget about uh, things like New Year's and the other holidays that are in this time period. So Halloween, you know, Thanksgiving, New Year's, Christmas, and all the other smaller or large holidays that are packed in here as well, because there's a lot more than just Christmas. And the last one, obviously, is to cross-list your designs to other platforms. Make sure you guys are maxing out your time and being as effective as possible. And with that, guys, I promise you are going to have an amazing fourth quarter. Let me know down below in the comments if you have any other tips, recommendations, and... Um, with that being said, we will see you guys in the next video. All the links in the Facebook group are down in the description below.